working on freezing uh interesting uh I didn't know what to expect and then when I found out it was directed it was created by the same people that did Ikitosin uh then I knew exactly what to expect but uh it was it was fun I mean my uh, whole point of me being around was uh being there to just say freezing and and react to boobs and butts hey Sharka this is Armin Arlaird you're a brave princess join the scouts we have cookies what kind of cookies do the scouts have? Snickerdoodle. Every time you kill a titan, kill a titan, get a snickerdoodle, kill two titans, get chocolate chip. Uh, it just goes on. You Normally, you know, two titans. Two titans, you're probably dead anyway, so we know we're not going to run out of chocolate chips. I've said too much. Of course I'm excited for season three of Attack on Titan. I know all the stuff that happens to Armin. I can't wait. I cannot wait to voice it. It'll be great. It'll be amazing. I don't know if you can see over the top there, but it says Funimation right there. I wonder if I can zoom in. I can. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Come on down to the beach. You're gonna get some suds, bruh. What's that? That's right, man. We're going in. Hard. Let's see. Well, I got down at Art 5. Long time ago, we used to uh, sit outside in the front bench drinking lemonade, watch people play baseball. Maybe throw around the pig skin or two. Oh, can I talk? It's Kurinosuke. Absolutely, darling. There you go, Shaka. Thank you, darling. It's amazing. I'm more of a cat person. Uh, dogs require a lot more playing and stuff. And uh, I like smaller dogs and because they don't, you know, run around as much. But Joanna, Joanna's very active. She loves to be able to go on runs. And so we want to find a big dog uh, that can run with her and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, oh, somebody asked cat's names. My oldest one is named Gypsy. The youngest one is named Yuri. And I've had her for you years. You have an incoming call. No, I don't. Shut up. It was like an assassin. How was it like an assassination classroom? Aaron, no! Yeah, um, assassination classroom was fun. Uh, I don't get to play douchebag characters like that guy very often, so that was fun to get to step into for a little bit. Another... I, I recorded another in an hour. My character really did not record, say much over the course of those 12 episodes, but that last scene with him, freaking rough. Uh, that was a blast. I wish, uh, I mean, obviously because I was just seeing my parts at that point, I had no idea really any of the context of the show, but like just that last scene was ridiculous. The fake language. Back to the fake language. Uh, really hard for me, actually, just because like, we, we had to we, we had the language written out and then we also had uh, what it, you know what the translation was and we would record the line first in English so that we could get like the actual performance down and then we would do it again in the fake language so that it look like whenever you hear it it sounds like we're speaking like a believable thing but uh, it was really difficult for me at first any manga that I've read. I'm not much of a manga reader, but I have a lot of Slayers manga. I love Slayers. Anything to do with the Slayers. Uh, I, I would love to be a part of that show, even, even if it's just a bit part. Some dude that jumps out of nowhere and gets hit with a dragon slave spell and then is gone forever. Favorite opening from one of your shows? Favorite opening? Uh, that's hard. Princess Jellyfish had a pretty amazing opening. That, that's hard to beat, actually. I love the opening to Princess Jellyfish. So I'd probably say that. Best song in Yuri, or favorite song in Yuri on Ice? Best song... I really enjoy Minami's Boogie. I think that's a really fun song. Uh, best song, though, I think has to be Eros. It's so freaking catchy.